today I am going to um, show you how to make this. So this is a little furniture, furniture, a little silverware caddy uh, for your knives and your forks that says Bon Appetit. I'm gonna show you the detail here really quick so you can see it. Um, it's got a fork and a spoon for the forks and the spoon. And we've got some yellow and some French um, emblems on here, some crowns, some French script um, with some milk paint and yellow underneath. And then this little cute French bee with a little white and yellow. And this is on a upcycled cutting board. So. So step one is cleaning out your cans, making sure they don't have any leftover food in them. Um, clean them up. And then the first step is to paint it. For the sake of time, I've already painted this can. I painted the outside yellow. You don't want to see the ugly, like some of them have like a copper uh, inside. Some of them are silver. So go ahead and paint the inside of the can. It won't take you very long. So I just, just did this with some black, so it kind of disappears. We are going to do milk paint, which is going to make it look like that. So let me demonstrate that. And it's really, really easy to make. Don't let the powder intimidate you. You just do a one for one mix of the powder with water. And I've already done that. And you're just going to stir it up. Now, if it's been a while since you stirred it, it will settle. So you just need to make sure that you stir it up again and keep agitating it so it stays mixed up. So now you're going to take your seawool sponge, you're gonna get it wet and then wring it out so it's, it's pliable, right? You don't wanna work with a hard sponge. And you're going to take your sponge and you're gonna dip it in your milk paint, wring it out, and then you're just gonna dab it on here. Now it might be hard to see here, it's kind of messy, so I put my apron on for that very reason. Now you can also apply this with a brush if you want to. Um, it just depends on what kind of look you are going for. Ready. Okay, so you're going to just dab it on. Again, you can put it on with like a chip brush or a regular brush or, or this. You're gonna let that dry. All right, step three. The same, the same <laughs> sea wool sponge. You're gonna dip it, you're gonna have some water. And dip it in your water, you know, clean it out first, like I didn't do because I don't have a sink with me right here. But dip the water in, and you're going to use this as a negative tool. So that means you're going to use this to take some of the milk paint off. You're going to distress it like this. So you can just like do like a, I don't know what this motion is called, but kind of a scoop and push, scoop and push and pull like this in different areas. And some areas I'll just go back and forth to get. Um, some a uh, little bit harder, more pressure, go like this. And at first it's gonna look like you're taking it all off because it's wet, but I promise you, you're not. Um, so go ahead and take some of it off. When you do that, um, you're gonna let it dry and it will look like this, but without the ink. So um, you will have a distressed can then, okay? Now, I'm gonna just pretend that this is distressed. Now you're gonna take your stencils of choice. Now, um, I'm gonna, I have this French um, script stencil that you guys have all seen probably. I also have the uh, Paris one. Okay, so you're gonna lay down your stencil 
and I take a piece of cardboard or a plate. I just put on some ink like this. Now, because the can is um, corrugated and you're not gonna have a totally flat surface, and that's okay because you don't want, this is, you're going for a distressed look. You don't want it to be super um, bold and perfect. You want it to like have some places that, you, that is missed, you know, um, and so forth. So I would put it, you know, over just whatever general area, take your finger. It's a little bit harder to do with a, a scraper and just fill it in, you know, do over the, the thing. And then, you know, like go here and then here and don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. You want this to kind of be very random. Um, you don't want it to be a linear look. So, um, you see that? Now that goes on really dark. It will dry much, much lighter, I promise. So it looks really dark now, but it will go to like a dark slate gray. And uh, just continue doing that, okay? So I that's my first layer. Then I will go back with maybe this, the Paris stencil and do one word that says, I'll find a Paris that's maybe a little smaller. And I'll do that. Um, now I'll take the stencils, I'm sorry, the stencils, the stamps, and you're going to take your foam dome, put your more ink on your pad, rub the foam dome in the ink, make sure you get it really, really covered with good coverage, and you're going to pounce it on top of the stamp, just like this, okay? So you get, you cover the edge of the stamp and you're going to very gently apply the stamp to the can. Now I like to hold it gently and then push it because they tend to slide and you don't want to have a smeared area. Okay. So you can see like this. See how I'm doing on time. Okay. Boop. See my little bee? Okay but leave enough room and then uh, for your fork and knife. There is this fabulous stencil that is a place setting. It's huge, but it has forks and knives. And I was like, I need to incorporate that in here. So again, it's not gonna fit the entire fork, but it can fit the top of it. So I, again, just put it on here. That. Like that. Okay. And I would, you know, probably add, there's a lot of white space here. I'll probably add another little crown or something here. So you've got that. Then you are going to take your um, cutting board and you're gonna paint it black. And then um, I take, I again, because I'm doing kind of a distressed look, I just took a 400 grit um, sanding block and I just went over it, over it to kind of give it a little bit of a scraped up look and I distressed the sides a little bit um, and then I take my stamp again my little B stamp and I did the white ink this time now the key to that is to not put too much on just enough to cover it and okay there you go there's your little B and then you can go back with some yellow paint just, a, you know, not over the whole thing, but maybe a little bit on the wing and a little, maybe a little bit on the foot to highlight some of those areas and bring just a touch of yellow into it for the beat. There's one last stencil. It is the Bon Appetit st uh, stencil. And obviously because it was not big enough to fit the whole thing, I did Bon on the one side and Appetit on the other. Bon Appetit. And then, um, line it up so that it stands and then mark your places on here where you want to drill holes. And then take your drill and hold, um, you know, hold it on a, a hard surface, but kind of squeeze the can a little bit and then drill from the outside a hole about a half an inch down into and not no no more than a half an inch down because you won't be able to get the drill back in there together so, so anyway it's a pleasure doing this live with you guys um i can't wait for spring and enjoy your crafting today so thank you guys